are watching Colorado Public Television 12. theories I you know there are lots of them they can go on we can speculate on that forever what we really need to know is how how those buildings came down my husband Steve was 48 years old when he was killed on September 11 2001 he was in the North Tower on the 104th floor there's so many unanswered questions, and that's scary to me. We never had answers. Nobody ever stopped to have a scientific investigation. A scientific investigation. A scientific investigation. Tribute lights in the New York skyline. An annual memorial to the lives lost on 9-11. Yet, there's still more light that needs to shine revealing truths that their family members deserve to know. September 11, 2001, a day that changed history. Four planes went silent and off course. Two of those planes crashed into the World Trade Center Twin Towers. Several columns were severed and the jet fuel ignited fires that spread over several floors. About an hour later, millions watched in shock as both towers were suddenly and rapidly destroyed, killing almost 3,000 people, for whom truth and justice may have yet to be served. Hi, I'm Richard Gage, AIA, licensed architect of over 20 years and member of the American Institute of Architects. I'm founder of Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth, a nonprofit organization of well over a thousand technical and building professionals. According to official government reports, the fires weakened the structural steel framing of both twin towers, leading to sudden, progressive, and total collapses. Unknown to most people, a third steel frame high-rise, World Trade Center 7, was also destroyed. Critical questions have been raised by more than 1,500 architects and engineers about the official explanations for the destruction of all three of these buildings. 
Along with more than 10,000 other concerned individuals, these professionals, collectively comprising more than 25,000 years of experience, have signed our petition. They're calling for a new investigation into the destruction of these three World Trade Center high-rises. This call is based on evidence that reveals a very different destruction scenario than reported by government engineers. This includes abundant scientific forensic data and eyewitness testimony that was omitted from the official reports. You'll be seeing this evidence and hearing from dozens of these technical experts, including many who are among the top in their respective fields. I claim they're not doing science at all. They're doing propaganda or, or publicity or whatever they're doing, but it's not science. It's not playing by the rules of science. We at AE911 Truth take President Obama at his word in his affirmation to the American people during his inauguration. How do we accomplish this? We've done our best by using the scientific method, examining the evidence from the World Trade Center and developing unbiased conclusions from unbiased experts in their fields. As coherent sets of scientific facts are brought into focus by the experts, the data, and the witnesses in this film, you'll come to a much greater understanding of the events of 9-11 and will be in a position to draw your own informed conclusions. Of course, the ones still most affected by the events of that tragic day are the family members of the victims lost on 9-11. Several have asked to appear in this documentary. Although our focus will be primarily technical, we are deeply moved and honored to give them the opportunity to speak directly to you. Now, let's hear from the AE 911 Truth professional petition signers who will share with you what conclusions they came to. Among these experts are high-rise architects and engineers in the fields of structural design, material science, chemistry, fire protection, metallurgy, as well as physicists, explosives experts, and demolition technicians. Also, psychologists, therapists, and counselors, along with theologian David Ray Griffin, who have a deep understanding of the personal issues associated with 9-11, will explain why it is so difficult for us to come to terms with the reality of these events and learn how we can help ourselves and others with this difficult yet vital responsibility. We were confident, we, were, we felt secure, and all of a sudden that security collapsed. So the question becomes why? Why is it that people have so much trouble hearing this information? When your beliefs are challenged, fear and anxiety are created. We don't have leaders who would uh, do those things. I believe that to be the kind of country that we think we are, we have to face some of the things that are not as we think they are. We need the truth in order to heal. The new World Trade Center, Building 7, looms above the site of its original. Building 7 was a 47-story high-rise, not hit by an airplane. Yet, it was the third modern steel-frame skyscraper to collapse rapidly and symmetrically on 9-11. It was a football field away from the North Tower and sustained minor damage from falling debris. Building 7's precipitous collapse was blamed on normal office fires. I'm Steve Barish, uh, founder and president of Barish Architects and Associates, Inc., a 33-year-old architecture planning and engineering firm. One of the things that, that really interested me is how quickly the Tower 7 fell. It fell within seven seconds, approximately, from top to bottom. This building was built in the mid-80s and uh, met all the codes at the time. From about 1965 until about 1985, my, most of my experience has been in a high-rise, multi-story steel buildings. NIST would have us to believe that, uh, that these were 
was a typical office fire, scattered office fires, if you will, that brought this building down. Since the mid-60s, I've tried to follow high-rise fires because they're a, uh, something we worry a lot about as we design these buildings. And, and I'm not aware of any high-rise building that have come down as a result of fires. The coup de grace for me was when I found out that Building 7 had collapsed later that day. And when I saw Building 7 come down, to me, the fact that it looks like a, a perfect controlled demolition of an intact building I mean, that's what I call a smoking gun. Was the structural steel from World Trade Center 7 preserved, documented, analyzed, according to standard procedures for investigating engineering failures? 400 truckloads per day of material were taken away from the World Trade Center site and sent to China for recycling. There were laws violated in the destruction of that evidence. And for the American Society of Civil Engineers to ignore those events is extremely disturbing and is a violation, in my opinion, of their professional code of ethics. It was contrary to the way all investigations are done. If, if an airplane crashes, they seal off the entire area and nobody touches anything. They move it to a secure location and they reconstruct an aircraft. Normally, uh, when you have a structural failure, uh, you carefully go through the debris field, uh, looking at each item, photographing every beam as it collapsed and every uh, uh, column where it is in the ground, and you pick them up very carefully and you uh, look at each element. We were unable to do that in the case of Tower 7. You can't do science when you are deprived of the evidence and when your hypothesis is the least valid instead of the most likely. When the most likely hypothesis in, in the case of Building 7 wasn't even mentioned, uh, this is not science. It's trying to prove preconceived ideas. Was a proper investigation performed that might have revealed the use of accelerants or explosives in World Trade Center 7's destruction? NIST concedes that they found no evidence for explosives. So then we asked them, well, did you look? And they said, no, we did not look for explosives <laughs> or residues of explosives. Big explosion. Blew us back into the eighth floor. I'm okay, all right? Here, hold on. You want, to call your, you want to call your mother or something? Just the fact that there were explosions means they need to be investigated. Oh, boy. You hear that? Keep your eye on that building. It'll be coming down. Building is about to blow up. Moving back. We are walking back. There's a building about to blow up. We don't have the real story on what happened because there wasn't a proper investigation done.